Okay, FAQ number 34. We have a question here. What is the difference between fellowship and social gatherings? Really good question. I like this one. Turn your Bible to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Actually, we'll start at verse 41. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So this is the first big, you know, evangelistic outreach, if you will, of the newly founded body of Christ, the newly founded Christian church. Of course, they aren't called Christians until Acts chapter 11. But uh, look at, excuse me, look at verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear come, came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Okay, so you see the word fellowship. First time it appears there in, you know, with, in reference to the body of Christ. So, what's the fellowship? Well, in context, breaking of bread, prayers, fear come upon, coming upon every, every soul, signs and wonders being done, it's related to ministry. Okay, next we're going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Another good definition. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, says here, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Christ with Belial, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel, and what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people." Wherefore, come, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will, I will receive you. Okay, now, the word church in your New Testament means basically a called out assembly. So you see it defined right there. Called out from what? Called out from the world. We're not supposed to fellowship with the lost in terms of when we come together as the body of Christ, which is a really big problem if you have a Babel building somewhere, a church building that's open to both saved and lost. It's just open to the public. Anybody can walk in, you know. And you say, oh, yeah, but, you know, what about people? They come in for salvation and stuff like this. Come on. Uh, most people that come to Babel buildings, to church buildings, uh, they're coming there for the uh, social gathering aspect of it. They're not really coming to fellowship. They're not really coming to to hear preaching and, and teaching and so that they can become equipped and go out and win people to Christ. I mean, they haven't been won to Christ yet. You know, how are they going to go out and do that themselves? And there are literally, these church buildings are filled with lost people. I mean, it's incredible. You know, I've gone to some of these church buildings, you know, some of the worst people I've ever met in society go to church. <laughs> you know, it's incredible. And, you know, you look at this verse here and this passage here, this is, you know, people, again, they try to make it about marriage. Oh, you're not be unequally yoked together with an unbeliever in marriage. Uh, it's not talking about marriage. Well, I mean, that's good instruction in righteousness, yes, but this passage is talking about your worship. Okay? And I've talked about that in other studies. I won't get into it here. But we're not supposed to have fellowship with the unrighteous. Okay, what is fellowship? What does fellowship mean? Fellowship is, if we had, let's just say, the faithful subscribers here, you know, that are, and I say faithful, you know, I'm not trying to use <laughs> Bible building terminology, but I'm saying those of you who we are in, you know, of like mind and we know about things that are going on and we believe the King James Bible and whatever else, we get together and, you know, a social gathering would be, let's talk about the weather, let's talk about sports, let's talk about the latest movies, let's talk about cars and, and, hunting and fishing and hiking and worldly things, okay? Fellowship, on the other hand, would be, hey, you know, let's talk about the Bible. Hey, what do you guys think about this verse? I was reading this this morning in devotions here, and I mean, what, you know, what do you think about this? And how would you answer somebody on this? I had this guy at work, and he said this to me, and how would I answer this thing? And, and hey, what, what do you guys think about street preaching? Does anybody want to go street preaching? You want to go out, you know, where are we going to get the signs to, to, to hold up and stuff? Not, you know, Westboro Baptist Church type signs. I'm talking scripture signs here. <laughs> you know, hey, brother, I saw some bumper stickers on your vehicle. Where'd you get those? And see, that's fellowship. That's why these early Christians were meeting together. Let me show you another verse or two here. 
And again, if you have this fellowship with saved people where you're discussing ideas of evangelism and whatever else, how are you going to get lost people in on that? You get some lost person, they're a Catholic, they're married to somebody who's a Christian or something like that or whatever. How are you going to have fellowship with that person? You know, and I realize that there are people that are saved, that got saved after they were married, you know, and they love their husband or wife, whatever. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 talks about staying with that lost member. You know, you're not, if you're pleased to dwell together, stay together, you know. Um, so you can have lost people that would come into a fellowship, into a, you know, group of Christians. They're not going to be able to fellowship with those saved people until they get saved. They can talk about the weather or things like that, but they can't really fellowship on a spiritual level. Um, Galatians chapter 2, verse 9. Galatians chapter 2, verse 9. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen and they unto the circumcision. To talk about sports? No, to go in ministry. A missionary journey is what's being get, you know, done here. And so they're saying, you know, I'll be praying for you, brother. And of course you have the thing there of, of you know, they're, they're kind of like laying hands on people and sending them out and stuff too. So fellowship is ministry based. Right? It's how can we get more tracks? How, you know, can we do some kind of a soul winning outreach? Can we do this? Can we do that? You know, whatever. That's why back when you know I was part of a house church back in you know Pennsylvania, we called it Bible Believers Fellowship. You know, and that's what we meant for. Let's see how we can go out. We used to go out. We'd hang uh, track packets on people's doors. We'd go out, knock on doors. We did some street preaching. Go handing out tracks at places. Whatever. Did things like that. That's you know, we met together to fellowship, to, to discuss ideas, discuss, hey, I'm having a hard time. Somebody at work has been asking me questions. I don't know how to answer them. What do you say about this? What do you say about that? It was all intended to edify the body of Christ, to build up the body of Christ. And, you know, the average church building that I've ever been to, it's it's you don't get much of that. It's more about social gatherings. And of course you go and then you start getting the let's have a spaghetti supper, let's have a sweetheart you know, thing or whatever, supper or whatever else. Let's have a game night. Let's have a this. Let's have a that. It starts to become about social. So what's the difference between fellowship and social gatherings? And, you know, we could go over a lot of scriptures yet. We're not going to for sake of time. But uh, what's the difference between the two? Uh, fellowship edifies the body of Christ. Social gatherings edify the flesh. So I would avoid... Babel buildings for that reason and, of course, quite a few other reasons.